If you want to hang out with me tonight and see me create this look, keep on watching. Welcome back. So as you can see, I'm very, very chill, very casual today, very laid back. It's actually about midnight at my house and I just want to put some makeup on. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I want to try out some new products, mix them with some old products, do a little chit chat, hang out, get ready, get cute so you can wash it off and go to bed you know one of those type of things so hopefully you don't mind i have on my little eight dollar beanie that i got from the mall i thought it was cute got this little pom pom on here so i thought it was cute and i just want to wear it so <laughs> hopefully you guys are okay with that today because like i said i'm at home i'm chilling and what good is having a lifetime supply of makeup if you can't just go in your room and play around in it whenever you feel like it right right okay so enough of the yapping as you can see i haven't done anything but my eyebrows and y'all it's ridiculous i should have got my eyebrows threaded probably about three weeks ago <laughs> but i've been so lazy and haven't gone and so i'm just putting concealer over the hair that needs to be threaded but anywho this is the new palette that I want to try out today. The Juvia's Warrior 2 palette. It's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Very, very pretty. Um, and this palette is an all matte palette. So I will be doing an all matte look today. And from the looks of it, I'm going to be doing something warm and cozy, okay? So that'll fit right in with my beanie, okay? <laughs> a nice, warm, cozy look. Now, I believe I purchased this palette for about $20, unless I got it on sale. If it was on sale, it was about $16. Bucks. But Juvia's Place has some really gorgeous palettes. I mean, look at that artwork in there, you guys. How can you use this palette and not feel like you about to be the bomb? Okay, so anyway. Oh, and for a warning, I don't know where I'm going to be looking. I might be looking at my monitor. I might be looking at the palette. I might be looking in the mirror. I mean, I might be looking at James Charles back there <laughs> occasionally, so look, just bear with me tonight, okay, because I'm, I'm just chilling. So, anyway, this is the palette I'm using, Juvia's Place Warrior 2. We're going to jump into this. You guys know the drill. I'm going to be using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and using this to set my lids before I get started today. So, when I'm actually filming this, it is... Friday night well actually I guess since it's midnight it's Saturday morning but yeah Friday night and there are a lot of birthdays today it's weird I've been like looking you know and seeing different people on Instagram and Facebook wishing different people happy birthday and stuff and so it's like pretty cool today is my sister Lisa's birthday okay she don't watch my videos but I'm gonna tell her happy birthday anyway <laughs> so happy birthday Lisa even though I know you're not gonna see this happy birthday and also I saw that it was my girl DJ's birthday okay so and you know DJ she um, has a YouTube channel as well and she kind of holds a little special place in my heart because my son's name is DJ as well. So my only son, I have one son and one daughter, but we call him DJ. So yeah, saw that it was DJ's birthday also. So happy birthday DJ, I hope you out there turning up. Okay, I'm probably the only person at home putting on makeup at midnight on Friday night instead of out getting turned up I doubt that quite actually <laughs> quite honestly I doubt that because you know what look when you get my age and I don't tell y'all exactly how old I am some of y'all already know how old I am 
I'm just slapping this stuff on my eyes, you guys. I'm not being precise tonight. But yeah, some of you guys already know how old I am, so don't be snitching down in the uh, comments, okay? But <laughs> when you get around my age, you start to really value relaxing at home, chilling, going to bed on Friday night, you know, just <laughs> eating a good meal and going to bed on Friday nights, okay? We're not in the clubs, we're not partying, hanging out and all that stuff. We chilling, okay? So, okay, what do we want to start with, you guys? I don't want to spend all day on my eyes because I do have a lot of other, I'm going to do a full face tonight, y'all. So, I hope y'all got some snacks. Get comfortable because I'm going to be here for so, a minute. So, I think I want to start, you know what, let me try. Now y'all know. It's hard to pronounce these names sometimes. I don't know what this is. Let's take a look. Is that Yodit? Let's go into Yodit and see what happens. Okay, so this color is basically like my skin tone, it looks like. So this is a really, really good transition shade for me because it looks like it's basically almost my skin tone. Okay, so now that I basically have that transition shade down, I want to jump into a little bit of color. So I want to go into this color here, which is Dara. Dara. That's pretty. It kind of looks like a light melon type shade. I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm going in very lightly until I get familiar with these colors but it is it's kind of like a light melon shade. Now I'm just building it up a little bit just so you can see that peachy tone just a little bit more. Okay so now I think I want to go into Walzana. So it looks like a like a dark dark gray because I know this down here is black. So this looks like a dark dark gray. So I want to go into that and kind of deepen my outer corners a little bit. I don't want to do too much. I just want to deepen it just a little bit right now. Sometimes I have to really slowly and gently blend out the outer crease and outer corner of my eye because the way that my eyelid is shaped, I can very easily, it can very easily get out of hand very quickly. So I wanna create just a little bit of a shadow right now. Okay, so now that I have those outer corners smoked out just a little bit, I wanna start building some color. So I wanna go into this color here, this pretty red shade called Jamata, it looks like, Jamata. So I'm gonna take some of that and start it in my outer corner. And y'all, I have no idea <laughs> what kind of look I'm really doing tonight, so y'all bear with me. I just knew I really wanted to use this palette. And just really kind of see how this all matte palette was going to perform. So I'm just placing that color down on my on my lid and kind of blending it out just a little bit. It looks pretty. I don't really see it as being patchy. Looks nice. Now right when I decide I want to go ahead and play in this new Juvia's Place palette, <laughs> I look on my Instagram feed and see that they done came out with another new palette which is actually very very pretty it has some really gorgeous green shades and everything in it but look i just got me a juvia's place order and i'm not ordering that palette right now i'm going to wait until it goes on sale <laughs> okay, i can wait so that color is pretty i like how that's looking it's looking real real nice and matte like <laughs> okay so i want to get lighter towards the lid so i want to go into this really pretty orange shade called zama it looks like zama and i'm just going to place zama right next to 
that red shade which is Jamata. So I'm really just going to try and get this to blend and fade into each other. And just keeping it right on my lid space. So that color is pretty and those are blending in very nicely together as well. And I'll go in after and just kind of make sure I really blend those together so it's a nice gradient look. I don't want it to be choppy. Okay, and since I want my lid to be really bright, I'm going to go into the lightest shade in here, which is the Zazz. Looks like a matte white shade. And I'm going to place that on my inner lid. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> that is bright. We're gonna have to do some blending, y'all. Some blending. But right now, I just wanna place it on my lid and I'll come back and blend it out nicely with that orange. That is very nicely pigmented. For a white matte, it's very nicely pigmented. Now, I'm just gonna go back in and add a little bit more of that red to make sure I don't lose that. sure the gray is nicely blended and I think I'm going to add a little bit of that white just under my brow bone hopefully it doesn't make it too light because I don't like my brow bones to be too bright so yeah I just want to add just a little bit I like it I do I like this palette okay I'm gonna add some eyeliner and we're gonna move on to the face. So for eyeliner, I wanna try out this Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. And I usually don't use liquid pencil eyeliners, but I wanna go ahead and try this out. Hopefully I don't make a mess <laughs> because I am not good with pencil eyeliners on my lid. So let's see what happens. Well, it's very, very thin and very precise, that's for sure. Well, I like that. It's almost too thin, actually. At least for me. Okay, you guys. I did not mean for my eyeliner to be this thick in this bowl, but... That's what happens when you have to go back <laughs> for it. <laughs> fixing the line, fixing the line. They get bigger and bigger. So this is what we have today, a humongous wing, okay? So let's just roll with it. Now, I like this eyeliner a lot. Will I be able to use this on a regular basis? No. The point is, I mean, amazing. You guys, look at this. I don't know if you can see that. You see that precision? Oh my gosh, that the precision point on there is crazy. And as you can see, it's very black and it's matte, which I love. I love a very matte black eyeliner, but being an older woman, my eyelids are wrinkled. As you can see, I have very hooded eyes. And so when I do my eyeliner, I have to pull and tug and drag and it's like a catch 22. It's a two edged sword. The super fine point is great for precision, but for dragging across my lids while I'm pulling, it feels like I'm poking myself. So I like it, but I don't. <laughs> okay, now I wanna go ahead and move on to my face. My face is already moisturized, so I'm going to jump into this Yves Saint Laurent primer sample that I have. I believe I got it from Sephora, so I'm going to try it. this so, out. This is a blur and illuminating primer from Yves Saint Laurent. Touche Eclat. And I don't know if I'm going to like this because look at this, you guys. This does not look like a typical primer that I would use. <laughs> but we're going to try it today. I don't normally use illuminating primers if you can see that it's like a gel it kind of looks like a gel and it has floating particles in it which I assume might be the illuminating part 
So I'm just going to place some of this on my face and see what happens. It feels good. It kind of reminds me of the Milani um, oils that you can use on your face and on your skin prior to putting your makeup on. I have the Camellia oil from Milani and that's, just, that's what this feels like. It's like an oil for your face but it's super duper light. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cause I don't typically like to put oils on my face. I didn't really care for the Milani one, but maybe I'll like this one. It is Eve Saint Laurent. Feels good. Doesn't really, it doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so next foundation. I'm really excited about this foundation cause I've been wanting to try this foundation forever. <laughs> forever, okay. I've been wanting to try this Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation for the longest, ever since everybody and their mom started talking about it. Now, my girl Bridget says that this is like the bomb.com, so I'm gonna find out tonight. And I have the color DN4. I like this bottle, you guys. I really like this packaging. It's very, very nice. I picked mine up from Ulta, I think for $12.99, I believe, $12.99 or $13.99, something like that. And this is what it looks like when you take the top off. And so I'm gonna go ahead and twist this because there is a big doe foot applicator for this foundation. So, so I don't know if it's best to use this with a sponge or a brush. I think I'm gonna try a brush first. I haven't used my BH Cosmetics brushes, the beautiful marble pearl set. They've been sitting here waiting for me to use them. So I don't even know if this is really considered a foundation brush. Probably not, but I'm gonna use this anyway. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm just going to do one side first. shade <laughs> mm, yeah. just gonna start off with a little bit and as you guys saw I didn't do any color correcting tonight I'm just gonna put this on and see what happens see if it blends into my skin tone oh I like it already oh that's nice okay I like that I like it. Oh my gosh. I only put on a little bit and I like it. I like it because even though it's like a really light coverage or I shouldn't say light coverage because actually it's doing a really good job of at least a medium coverage for my face because you guys know I usually go in and do all of my color correcting and all that stuff, which I didn't do tonight. But for one coat, I like the way it looks. It's like it's covering, but it still kind of shows a little bit of my natural imperfections. So I actually kind of like that. And I like this color. Okay. So as you can see, I have some spots under my neck. So I'm going to just put a little bit more there. How it does that's not bad that is not bad at all it's like it covered it just enough to give me a nice natural but not flawless look so I like it so let me go ahead and just pop on some concealer because I don't have a new concealer to try and then I'll move forward with the rest of the new products that I want to try. Now you guys, it's been a minute since I've used the foundation and just really felt like, wow, I like it. I like the way it looks. I mean, you know, I've tried them out and it's been like, okay, it's good enough. But this one, I like, <laughs> I like it. 
Now this Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation Brightening Complex, it says for all skin types, and you get one fluid ounce in here. I like it, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this J-Cat Banana Powder. Um, I normally use my Collab Powder, but I don't feel like digging it out. I haven't used it in a while. So we're gonna go ahead and use this J cat. <laughs> Y'all gonna move on to the rest of your face and you trying to blend something out and you look at your eyeshadow and you like, ooh, I need to blend that corner out a little bit more. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. I'm like, okay, I need to blend that red and orange a little bit better. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 360, no, it's ain't 360, 35 deep to powder the rest of my face. And I'm going to use my new BH Cosmetics brush for the first time. I was supposed to be using all these brushes, but I've been <laughs> using all of my regular brushes. You guys ever do that? You're supposed to be using something and you just fall into a habit of what you normally do. And then the next thing you know, you ain't using nothing you're supposed to be using. That's exactly what I've been doing. Okay, so since I didn't use a cream contour, I do wanna go ahead and use a powder contour just to add a little bit of cut to my cheek. And one of the new products I wanted to try out is this Carity Contour Kit, and it says it's the second collection. I'm not sure what the first collection looks like. Maybe it's a lighter kit, because this one is a very deep kit, as you can see, very, very deep and warm. And it does have a highlight in here, as well as these two lighter shades. I think I might try to use this one as a blush. And I'm going to use maybe this one, that's a little dark. Maybe this one to contour with, and that's the color Cory. So I'm gonna use that. Now, this contour kit I actually wasn't going to get it look if y'all know by now I like to save a buck or two okay I don't like to spend a lot of money if I don't have to and for something like this although there's a nice amount of shades it has a highlight and blah 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 when I saw this was $25 <laughs> was fussing and cussing y'all should have heard me Aaron my husband he was just looking at me like are you for real right now like $25 are you serious right now and I'm just sitting there oh that's dark that is dark no but I think a lot of it has to do with if ooh -wee. okay take it easy take it easy Camille take it easy but a lot of it has to do with if we don't feel like something is worth that amount it don't matter what somebody else thinks about it if we don't want to pay that amount we don't want to pay that amount so <laughs> I don't know why when I saw this was $25 I was like mm, mm, mm. you guys should have seen me heard me when <laughs> I found out how much this stuff was I was like $25 $25. Okay, that's nice. I like that. It's a nice little con. Nice little contour. I was like, $25. And Aaron, he was just laughing at me. He was like, girl, if you don't buy that palette and be quiet. So I had to go on the Carity website, sign up with my email so I can give me a little $10 discount or 10% discount. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying full price for that. Either I'm gonna get a discount or else I'm gonna wait till it go on sale. I'm not just not doing it. But this is a nice contour though, I must admit. Is it a $25 contour? No. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so there is a highlighter in this palette as well. One highlighter called Shine On. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out this highlighter as well. And whenever I'm trying out like a new highlighter or a new blush or a new contour, I like to just do like a little swipe of it on my wrist just so I can kind of see how deep or how pigmented it is. Let me go ahead and just swatch this for you so you can see. So that's what the highlighter looks like. Very, very pretty. That is gorgeous actually. So yeah, I was talking to my mom and she was like, 
telling me. She was like, oh, I was watching one of your videos and I was like, oh my goodness, what is that you're putting on and da 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 da. Cause my mom is old school. She dab a little foundation here, a little foundation there and put on some eyeliner and call it a day. <laughs> you know, the most, you know, bold that she gets with her makeup would be with her lipstick. That's nice. It's very gold, very nice. I like it, that's pretty. But yeah, I, the most adventurous I think that she is, she gets is with her lipstick. She doesn't even wear eyeshadow, <laughs> okay? So yeah, that should give you a hint as far as, you know, what she does makeup wise. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you guys are ready for me to go back and finish my eyes so we can complete this look. Um, I think I'm going to get a little, little bit of color on my lower lash line. Not too, too much. I think I want to go into Zama. So I'm going to go into Zama. And I'm also going to go back into that deep red shade, Zamata, Jamata, <laughs> Jamata, and smoke out. A little bit with that also okay I'm gonna go ahead and am I gonna do any black eyeliner on the lower lash line should I just keep it simple and just put some mascara what are we thinking what are we thinking I think I'm gonna do that I don't think I'm gonna put any liner on my lower lash line okay so for mascara I'm going to go in with this essence lash princess that I've been using for the past couple of weeks I just got this from Amazon um, I did hear I can't remember who it was though I saw somebody using it on YouTube that's pretty much all I watch is the YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and use this today I haven't found that I feel like it's amazing or anything like that but it's a decent mascara anybody else almost always have a disaster when they're putting mascara on their lower lashes <laughs> I almost always have a disaster when I'm doing that so I try to be very careful but I always seem to get some on my face okay now before I put on my lipstick I'm going to spray some of this morphe setting spray on my face I've used this a couple of times and I like it I like this stuff a lot do you guys like it if you tried it let me know if you like it I like it I like it I love the continuous mist it feels good it smells good I love it okay so lastly what I'm going to try out today for my new product is going to be one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I purchased a couple of these during their latest sale. And as I was picking out my shades, my girl, Lily, hey Lily, <laughs> she told me to make sure that I got Sophia. So this is what Sophia looks like. She said this is a must have. So I got Sophia and they actually sent me one by accident. They sent me the wrong shade, so I ended up with two shades because at first they sent me Vamp and I had to let them know y'all sent me the wrong shade. So of course I was able to keep Vamp. So this is Vamp and this is Sophia. What are we doing tonight, y'all? I think I'm gonna do Vamp. I'll save Sophia for a more bold eye look, but since this eye look is kinda just a little warm and smoky, I want to go ahead and try out Vamp and see how I like it. Do I need a lip liner with this? Hmm, I don't know because it is a lip gloss. Let me swatch it. Ooh, <gasps> that's pretty. Wait, let me swatch Sophia, okay? Sophia, Sophia. How you pronounce it, y'all? Sophia, Sophia. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Okay, so that's Sapia. The light one is Sapia and the other one is Vamp. Now y'all know my personality is telling me to put on Vamp, so <laughs> I'll put on Vamp tonight with this eye look, okay? Do these smell like anything? No, it don't smell like nothing, okay. Oh, that's pretty. 
pretty. It's thick. So this is it you guys. The final outcome of my little chit chat get ready with me on this late, late Friday night. Actually it's Saturday morning now. Probably about 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning and I'm still wide awake. Nice. Um, anywho, so just a quick recap. This Yves Saint Laurent blurring and illuminizing primer. I like it. I like it a lot. Even though it's kind of like, I guess like a nice smoothing oil. Um, it's not, it's oil, but it's not oil. I don't really know how to describe it. It's a very nice, smooth, soft feeling on your face when you use it. <laughs> Losing my voice when you use it, but I like it. I like this stuff a lot. I don't know why, but I like and it. And for this physician's formula, you guys, I like it a lot. Just for this first try on, first impression, I like everything about it. I like the applicator, I like the bottle, I like the color, the shade, I like the way it felt going on. It's very light and smooth and you know, as you saw, I just put on the one coat on my face. I didn't do any color correcting or anything. And it just kind of, I like the way it feels. It doesn't feel heavy, even though I can see, you know, just my natural blemishes peeking through and everything. I don't mind it. <laughs> I don't really mind it. I like it because the way it feels, it feels really nice. So I'm really looking forward to using that more and trying it out more and you know seeing if maybe it's the primer that's helping me like it so much or something else but i like it uh, the eyeshadow palette okay let's talk about the juvie's place eyeshadow palette for a moment this eyeshadow palette is really really pretty i like it it's gorgeous the shades are nice i like how they apply now i'm one who really really likes a matte eyeshadow palette anyway I can have a regular eyeshadow palette that has mattes and shimmers in it and just use all the mattes. So I really like this palette. Nice. <laughs> I really like this palette, you guys. It's pretty. I think it applied nicely. I think the shades blended in really nicely together. If it's not blended, it's not because of the palette. It's because it's me and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, okay? <laughs> so... You know, if you feel like, oh, girl, the corners ain't blended, guess what? It's not the eyeshadow palette. It's the, the user, okay? But I like it. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. I mean, granted, there's only so many looks you can do with these shades, but I'm here for it. I'm here for all the, the few looks I can do, okay? <laughs> this Carity, um Contour Palette. I like it. It's cool. It's nice. I mean, it, it contoured me up nicely. It did. But is it worth $25? No. And the reason why I say that is not because of the performance or anything. I mean, the highlighter in there was a bit powdery, but you know, and it's nice. It's a nice little highlighter. You can see it, it's, it's, it's all good. But I have Black Radiance contour palettes that do the same job if not better y'all see my, my my chair sinking my chair is forever sinking okay <laughs> but anyway yeah my black radiance contour palette does the same thing and i'm pretty sure i paid six or seven dollars for it so 25 dollars that's a no on the carity palette even though it is a decent contour palette this essence lash princess like i said i've been using this for the past i don't know week or so I like it. I think that it really does boost and lengthen my lashes. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? But I think it really does boost and lengthen my lashes quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I do. I like it. I'm gonna keep using it until I run out of it. This eyeliner, this Maybelline eyeliner, I think most people for the most part would love this eyeliner because it's very precise, it's black, and it's matte and it glides on really nicely but the problem for me is I have older more wrinkly eyelids so when I'm putting on eyeliner I kind of have to tug and pull and you know with doing that I don't know if you're familiar with that how I, certain eyeliners will skip <laughs> when you're pulling and tugging and trying to get the line straight they can skip which kind of gets difficult but this I think most people 
who have normal eyelids and really like a precise clean line will love this. So it's the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. Very nice. Uh, oh, and lastly, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss that I'm wearing. I like it because it's not, it's a lip gloss, but it's not like a regular lip gloss. It's like extremely pigmented and it feels really, really good. You know, it's nice. It's a nice little gloss, but I kind of feel like I have on like a glossy lipstick, you know, like a shiny lipstick because it's so pigmented. So I like it. Okay. I like it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend that. So anyway, enough of me talking about this stuff. It's late. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me during this chit chat get ready with me video. I really appreciate all of my diehard supporters, those of you who <laughs> sit through my old videos or just stop by to say hi. I love you all so, so much. Feel free to leave me a comment below and just tell me what you were doing on Friday night while I was here filming and making this video talking to myself in my house. <laughs> Let me know what you was doing on Friday night, okay? So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Toodles!